Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be shooting uh, some more 45 Colt. Um, I was doing some reading on uh, John Taffin's website, sixguns.net, some of his writings there about um, Elmer Keith loads. And uh, I figured I'd load up a couple of different weights based on some of that writing and uh, would shoot them today through my chronograph and see how they group. Um, I still have yet to get my bench built and my proper rest, so to speak. So today I'm just going to be propping off the uh, back corner of my truck bed here on that jacket. And uh, we'll shoot it at 25 yards through my chronograph and we'll see how they do. Um, the two loads I have are 18 and a half grains of Unique 2400 and 20 grains of Unique 2400 per that writing. Um, I've got a 255 grain Keith cast bullet, a semi wad cutter uh, for the bullet and the primers are just federal, uh, I think they are 150 large uh, pistol primers. They're not matched, they're not magnum, they're just regular old large pistol primers. So let's uh, shoot them and see how they do and we'll take a look at the groupings and uh, the chrono numbers. All right, so here's what we come up with. So I don't know how I got them spaced out down here away from that rest of that grouping. That's just my shooting. But I averaged inch and a half group here, and this is inch and a half right here from the furthest points. Um, that's pretty good. The numbers to me and my understanding is not that impressive. The 10, 14 average feet per second, strain spread of 75, standard deviation of 28. Um, my understanding is... 15 or less, I believe, on standard deviation. I might have to go back and check my notes. But I feel like the, the standard deviation is a little bit high on this, uh, even though it did group fairly good. Um, on the 20 grains, I had um, from the furthest two right here, it was roughly two inches. The rest of these measure um, right at inch and a half. So roughly the same grouping. Um, I'm sure if I had a better way to, to rest or had some more practice, I could tighten this up. But that's pretty good, I think. Uh, some of the better groupings that I've had out of all the powders I have shot so far. Um, the standard deviation did go down uh, 5. It went to 23. Strain spread went down to 68. Um, and the average feet per second is at 11.04. So what I may do is I may load up some a half a grain, 20 and a half and some at 21 and see what it does as far as these numbers here and if the groupings change. Um, and likewise, I may load up some 19 and some 18 around the other one and we'll I'll try to compare them all. I don't know how many more of these uh, Montana Bullet Works Keith uh, bullets I have. I may have to order some more, but um, I'm, on, I'm gonna see if I can See what kind of the best numbers I can get out of that. But as far as my shooting today, I feel good about that. And I feel good about the groupings. So there you have it. A couple of loads according to the writings of John Taffin over at uh, sixguns.net. 
Uh, I feel like I did some pretty good shooting today compared to last time. Um, I'm ever practicing and, and trying to improve my handgunning skills. Um, I do, I, I've had a lot of conversation with people here and on Instagram about, you know, the proper way to, to set it up, whether it be on a bench with the pistol rested, with your elbows rested or resting your wrists and, and shooting the best you can that way. Uh, if y'all have any suggestions you'd like me to know uh, or discuss, just drop them in the comments below or find me over on Instagram and send me a, um, a DM. Uh, that's, I've had a, lot, a couple of people uh, find me that way and comment that way, and I, I thoroughly enjoy the conversation that I get from people. Um, if there's any other hand loaders that loads 45 Colt uh, watching this, y'all can comment or get with me on what you shoot and like. And uh, I'm always taking notes and I'm always trying different things. Uh, going forward, I'm fist to get into the bullet casting. So I got some stuff coming from Brownells on that. They has got some stuff come back in stock and I picked up a few things this week. So maybe uh, going forward, I'll get to cast a few bullets and uh, we'll see how they stack up over some of these loads as we have last time. Uh, again, if this is your first time to my channel, I'd ask that you like and subscribe to me. Um, check me out over on Instagram. Again, under the same handle, J underscore C underscore Hunt. Um, and I appreciate y'all. I've had a lot of new followers. I appreciate everybody that's followed me. And uh, I look forward to trying to get more of the stuff out for y'all to see and for us, you know, to enjoy. As always, I appreciate y'all, and we'll catch you around next time. Thank you.